When I began spraying graffiti 20 years ago, Taiwanese people didn't understand graffiti. I was scolded and fined 100 US dollars. But over the past 20 years, I've seen the change in the public perception of graffiti. People used to see it as an annoyance, but now they liked it and see it as a form of public art. In the Simending area in central Taipei, graffiti has become its cultural spirit. It's the only inner city area in Taiwan where graffiti has been legalized. Here, we have legal spaces for people to spray, to practice, and to exhibit. This area used to be neglected. It was mostly vagrants and drug addicts who occupied this space. We came in and painted graffiti on all the walls, and afterwards many people came here to take pictures. At first, we were learning from European countries and America, starting with spraying English words. But now, we hope to focus more on Taiwan's own images and unique culture. For example, our indigenous culture, Chinese opera, and temple bodyguards. We want to put these cultural aspects into our creations and not just write ABCs. English words are a part of the spirit of graffiti. That's how it got started. But perhaps we can use Chinese characters, traditional characters, and combine them into graffiti, along with images of Taiwan's unique culture. This is what we want to do. In Taiwan, the fine is only up to 180 US dollars, which is very small compared to many other countries. And that's why so many foreigners like to come here to do graffiti. Taiwan's public acceptance of graffiti is actually higher than that of Europe and America. But in terms of technique, it doesn't have the long experience of Europe and the US. But as more foreign artists come here, these exchanges with local artists will very quickly make Taiwan more beautiful.